Hi. So um, I just wanted to start by sharing my, one of my stories with you, and then I thought that I'd give you a little, little bit of advice. So first, um, my story. Uh, I didn't grow up with a super Christian background. I mean, I, I grew up like lightly Lutheran and Mormon, which seems a little intense, but it's not, it's not as bad as it sounds. However, when I was in college, a freshman in college, I fell in love with and got engaged to a man. And at that point, I had been out as bisexual since I was 13 for like, so for like six or seven years, I had been out as bisexual. And pretty much everybody who knew me knew it, and so on and so forth. So, got engaged. His family was very, very Christian, Fatima Baptist, um kind of on the crazy side, so I understand that bit. Um, and then for different reasons, a lot being that I found I was gay, um, we broke up. And um, so you can only imagine my family's disappointment and the fact that they just absolutely adored him and he was like, the perfect guy for me, and oh my god. And um, But also his family's disappointment in that they're like, soon-to-be daughter-in-law had come out as gay, and oh my god, you know, should I come back to Jesus and all this jazz? So, um, I understand the dilemma. It was really, it was really hard for me. I thought that might give you some kicks and giggles, though. I mean, um, I'm the one that broke off the engagement, and then I came out as gay, and his whole family kind of has to deal with it. Um... On another note, though, um, more of in the advice realm of things, uh, you know, there was some, a few things from your other replayer that really struck out, and one of them, I think the most important, is that you should wait, and there's really no reason to go to your parents now and tell them, hey, I'm gay. I think that you really should wait until you're in a relationship that means a lot to you, and then go and talk to them and be like, hey, this is... You know, this is this person. You don't even have to tell them the game right away. Just be like, introduce them to this person and let them know how special and important she is to you. Um, and another thing that I would suggest that helped me and kind of made me more comfortable was it just kind of, I don't know how recently you come out or how involved you are in the community, being doing drag, I'm guessing, a little bit. But, um go out and really get involved in your community and get to know like other queer folk and just kind of immerse yourself in it because that'll help you really get grounded in who you are so that when you go home for visits or you know you talk to your parents you'll come from a place of strength um i know that my visit back home for the first time in like eight months after i come out and that sort of thing they they knew i was out and my family was pretty okay with it but it was really hard because I realized how many values were different, um, you know, my parents' values versus my values. And I had to be, and I continue to have to be really strong about what I believe in and, um, you know, what I'm willing to put up with in them and that sort of thing. Um, build a community, build a family of, you know, your queer people or other people who are very special to you because... Your family, your blood family is always going to be there, and they're always going to be your blood family. And whether you wanted to or not, you can do anything about that. But you really can get a, a ring of supporters and a ring of people who really love you around you so that if it does come out that your parents are not cool with it, then you can be like, okay, I still have the support, I still have people who love me. So um, that's what I would suggest is just like waiting and talking to your parents when you're actually in a relationship with a woman that you love. Um, and being strong, finding a good support network that's not your family. Not to replace them, but to be there in case they're not able to for a while. Um, and just build up strength in yourself. Like, build up what you believe to be your ideals and that sort of thing so that you really can be your own person aside from your family, so you don't have to feel like you succumb to their values or their value system. You have your own. So anyway, um, yeah, I guess I will talk to you another day or whatever. Anyway.